Today, we will use Argyle Sculpting in 3D Paint functions to reshape an iClone model and modify its texture map. To start, we will use an iClone base model and load it into 3D Exchange 4. Once inside 3D Exchange 4, we will select the body part to be modified. In this case, we will choose the upper body. Then, we will export the mesh as an OBJ file. This will also bring along the texture maps. Then, open Argyle and import the OBJ file. In the import options, remember to select the symmetry detection box for easier model reshaping and turn automatic weld off in order to keep the model topology. Once the model and the textures are imported, you can start modeling. Simply use the move tool with different brush sizes to reshape the model. Take note that Argyle supports single material only. If there are multiple materials assigned to the same model, then only the first one will be accepted. Later, switch to the 3D Paint function. Pick Color, Mask, and Blend Mode. In this case, I used Multiply. Then Brush Strength and Size and just start painting. Later on, you can do several adjustments as you go on your way. If you want more customization, you can turn on the background paint and bring in a preset image to paint on your new model. 
Just use the navigation tool to place your background image and fit the position on your model. Then, paint the surface to transfer the background image onto your character. Later, just confirm the modified textures and export as an OBJ. Use the default settings and make sure that the export textures box is selected. Once you are done, open 3D Exchange 4 and make sure you have selected the same body part in order to replace the old mesh with the new one. So in this case, select the same upper body part and click on Replace Mesh. To replace a texture map, just open the same previous folder and drag and drop the TGA file onto your character. In the end, go to export and save the model. Then open iClone 4 and have fun with your newly modded character.